Chapter 3, Calibrating and Priming. Calibrating. It's now time to calibrate the cassette. Calibrating the cassette ensures the transducers are reading the accurate ICP and considers the atmospheric pressure in the room. To accomplish this, turn the cassette knob to the zero position, delineated by the zero icon, and wait for the control unit to calibrate. When calibration is complete, turn the cassette knob back to the starting position, which is labeled as ICP. When returning the cassette knob back to the starting position, pay special attention to turn the cassette knob all the way clockwise until it will not turn anymore. Air in line sensor. Now that the cassette is calibrated, let's focus on placing the irrigation tubing into the air in line sensor. When placing the irrigation tubing into the sensor, make sure that the tubing is fully inserted. We are placing the tubing into the airline sensor to ensure that no sizable air bubbles are introduced into the system via the IV bag. Priming. Now it is time to prime the system. To do this, first press the settings icon. Once you are in the settings field, press the prime button. To prime the system, press and hold down the prime button. This will take approximately 40 seconds. You are done priming when you observe fluid in the drainage bag. Priming is done to create a fluid-filled system so that when you connect the tubing to the catheter, there is minimal need to open the system during operation. When priming is complete, stop pressing the priming icon and press the arrow icon to go back to the home screen. Now you need to clamp off the roller clamps on the irrigation and drainage tubing. This will make sure that when you connect the tubing to the catheter, it does not lose its prime. Thank you for watching the Aeroflow System educational training videos. If you have additional questions, please reference the Aeroflow instructions for use Download the Iris Academy app or contact your Iris sales professional.